Hi, welcome again. Um, so we've been talking a lot about um, the mind on women's journey in terms of you know teenage, so pregnancy, work-life balance and so on and so forth. But then we come to a very important milestone in a women's life when the menstruation is beginning to stop, I guess, you know, that, that's a very important uh, milestone. So you know, it's the beginning of the end or the end of the Oh, that is, yeah, that is, that, that's a major issue, that's a major issue. And, you know, for me, you know, for, from where I see, a lot of things happen. Uh, biology, I'm sure we'll, you'll, you'll tell us a little bit more, but I also see women's role change. So the children are getting bigger, mm -hmm. they want to leave home, husbands are busier doing whatever, Parents are getting older, they, they are very unwell, they may have passed on, friends are busy with other things and the woman suddenly feels, Do what am I here? Alone? Yeah, empty nest, you know, what am I doing here? Yeah, she's working, she's doing things, loss of purpose. You know, on top of that, suddenly nature decides to withdraw something that defines a woman. A woman, yeah. Very it's true. scary, but looks like there's much more to that. Like the name itself is like menopause. So is it a pause to your life or is it yeah, a new beginning? Exactly. So women are again, you know, getting confused. And uh, along with that, you have nutritional deficiencies, calcium yeah. deficiency, or getting, you know, certain lifestyle yeah. diseases like diabetes or hypertension. Yes. And then you are getting slower. Yeah. And, you know, you are also, sometimes they even have these bleeding problems. They bleed mm -hmm. more, they bleed less. They bleed a year after menopause, it's called postmenopausal bleeding. So, you know, they are like, uh, sure, so many what do I do, yeah. you know, with myself? So, where is my me, life headed to? From my practice, you know, what I see is uh, what we call as premenopausal, mm -hmm. uh, you know, combination of biological changes and some psychological changes. And we always know from medical school times that uh, estrogen is very protective against heart diseases, it's exactly. good for the bones, for instance. And that is going down. Uh, this is my very basic gynecology. You can now fill it in. So that's going down, which means you have an increased risk of heart problems. Bones are getting weak. You need calcium. This and, is how and I understand. all our life, you know, we're like 20, 30 years. You've been told that okay, your hormones are helping you. Your yeah. hormones are this and everything. And suddenly, so am I less of a woman? Exactly. What is it that is another huge issue. And most women uh, talk about uh, sort of heart flashes. Right, they could be in an air-conditioned room and they feel gush And no one will understand that. Exactly. They're all sitting and everyone is So they keep the fan on, you know, they have uh, um, uh, a little fan to just to, you know, get some air and they're very and uncomfortable. sometimes they just get depressed for no reason, exactly. you know, just feel lonely, depressed, sad. Absolutely. They have everything. Yeah. In fact, that is a time post 40 or 45 when they have actually, you know, achieved what they want in exactly. career. Yeah. Kids are settling down and that's when they should actually be really, you know, feeling that they are um, pulling uh, the shots and they are, you know, in yeah. command. But yeah. They suddenly feel a vacuum. Yeah, yeah. and talking about or depression. Uh, what do you yeah, mean? yeah. Talking about depression and the opportunities. You know, we know that uh, women have twice uh, so the incidence of depression, anxiety, and some physical health problems. Fibromyalgia. They get body pain. That's one group of women we see. But we also uh, this is something I'm very passionate about and interested in. We see women after menopause behave more like men, particularly in exec positions. Mm -hmm. In, in leadership roles, you know, they become great leaders, you know, senior execs. Maybe, you know, that estrogen deficiency to a certain extent good is, is good for them in that way. So it's about finding so out something. So do they become less emotional or? I can't say they become less emotional, but uh, I, I think there is an opportunity for women to become better leaders, mm -hmm. devoid of some of the so womanly things, you know, I'm not saying that having that makes them a bad leader. I need to be very careful here. I'm not saying that at all. But not having that load, you know, not having to go through that cycle every month. You know? Yeah, I have seen many women, you know, after uh, when sometimes we need to remove the uterus, which yeah. is called hysterectomy, yeah. they in fact become much exactly. more, you know, senior so doctors also. In I many see, ways, I think we have a responsibility to frame it differently to them. You know, like you said, I think we'll come, we'll maybe touch upon hysterectomy and other things very, uh, very briefly soon. But it's about our responsibility to telling them that, you know, this is not about a loss. This is about another phase in life. You're graduating from this to being that. Accepted. Accepted. And also take the support that, that you can have to thrive. You know, you're still going to be very relevant. You know, your husband still values you. Your children still look up to you. In fact, the society looks up to you for advice. You're advice. a wise woman now. You know, so take on that role. Our political leaders also. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So, you know, it's, it's about reframing that. 
and looking after yourself you know never so stop looking transition period perimenopause is diet and exercise again important it, it, i think it's i would say you know rather than being prescriptive at, at every stage in women's life you know look after yourself prioritize yourself you know i would say you can be a little selfish because you know selfless comes with being selfish because you need to be able to look after you to be able to look after others so when you start thinking that way you know you have again diet exercise so we have the determinants of health we call it you know make sure that you have adequate rest sleep you know eat balanced food good nutrition you know have exercise you know, whatever that form it takes and also there's an interesting thing i was reading recently about something called emotional detox throughout the life we carry a lot of emotions that come But, to us yeah. and you know it was heavy you know particularly when a woman has gone through it and particularly in society like ours the woman carries a lot of load you know they want it or not they like it or not they condition that way that is how it is women mostly do the home management roles you know even if they have a job you know that's how it is you know there's so no getting I away from it i guess this is the time where they you know sort of and move so, on move forward exactly forwards. so now there is an opportunity you know not seeing that as an adverse uh, sort of event you can see that there is an opportunity for them to take on more interest you know and i have known women who have started to learn new things you know learning music learning language you know traveling you know even finding new love so do whatever you do, do whatever that that likes uh, that you like you know so that's very uh, useful yeah so what we can probably do is in the interest of time and we'll just go on to the next bit which i really want to touch upon i know otherwise this becomes a long video so we can make it a okay. part 2 but here i'm just going to be very specifically asking you about certain things i would like to explain to uh, our viewers and to me you know i'm also learning so there are many things that like we talked about now and i want to look at uh, you know some of the serious issues okay. so in in terms of health so we hear a lot about cancer for instance you know Uh, normal bleeding excessive bleeding causing huge problems yeah so when when should women be like screening for such things you know and we don't want a woman like the successful woman we're talking about suddenly getting diagnosed with cancer and all sort of health yeah, issues yeah we had an example recently uh-huh. uh, a very famous bollywood actress also okay. she had uh, was diagnosed with the cancer uh-huh. and then she has just completed the treatment yeah. and then she's come out with her videos too where you know it's like wow. one day at a time right yeah, yeah. so we can discuss in our next video sure. about cancer screening okay. regarding the uterus okay. the breast okay. and the cervix sure i think then we'll we'll do a separate video on the yeah, whole thing cool excellent